Hello everyone and welcome in this tutorial. Today I want to explain to you how you can make a movement in Godot. Now let's analyze this small scene that I created. Now I have a root node which is a normal spatial node. If you want to add node and you don't know how to do it you will just press here and look for them. This is a mesh instance node that I renamed plane. There is a mesh that you can add right here and I changed the color like this. There is also a camera that allows us to see the scene and there is a cube which is also a mesh instance. Now uh, this is a small cube I added the same way and give, gave a color. Now I also added a script to this cube. This is what we are going to move. Now in this tutorial we are going to see how to make movement. Now there are a lot of ways of, of making movement and it is more or less like this in every single game engine and Godot is no exception. Uh, in this case we are going to see a simple way that you can use and start with pretty quickly. And the first thing we have to do though is to choose which buttons and keys we want to press in order to move. Uh, we have to click on project, project settings and go here under input map. Here we can add naming here and adding different type of buttons and type of names that we want to press. In this case I name up, down, right and left and we and I selected right here and added keys which are up, W and all like this. In this way you can uh, customize the type of input that you want and it's really useful. If you don't want to do this step you can just use this type of uh, already pre-made movement. It's uh, it's for the UI so I don't suggest you to use this in the long term but for a heavy for a lightweight prototyping this is great. Now let's go under script and let's see the code that I made. This is a pretty crappy code but it works and it's pretty easy to understand. Now the first variable here is speed, of course, uh, this changes how fast we want to move. Here it's process. Process is called every single frame in, and it's going to do something. What is going to be defined here? Now this is an if statem statement, it's going to check if something is, tr is true or not and if, it's something, if this is true, it's going to let this act. Now in this case we are checking if up or the arrow key up and W is pressed as I made in input. This is checking is if these keys are pressed if and if these are pressed the translation dot Z is moving is adding the speed which is multiplied by delta. Now uh, it's the speed is adding to the translation so that uh, it's going to move in towards a direction which is up and the speed is multiplied by delta because we want a speed that is not defined by the number of frames multiplying it by delta means that uh, we are going to have a smooth movement which is not frame dependent because the speed is going to be equal to because the speed each frame is going to be equal as the amount of each frame in, in the time. So uh, then I did the same for down, right and left. And of course when up was adding to Z, in down is going to subtract. And more or less the same here with right, but is on X axis and left, always on the x-axis, and still multiply. There are a lot of different ways that you can uh, use this, for example you can add a variable before, or you can use uh, uh, transform.origin which changes directly the origin, or there are a lot of ways that you can use this. But this is a simple way that, that I wanted to show you, and you can write in the comments if you have better ways, and of course there are a lot of better ways, but every situation has a nice way. This uh, should work. Now the scene is this one. 
let's press play and see how it goes now if you can see this i will now start pressing keys and see the movement as you can see it's moving so this is a simple way to move in godot and i hope you like this video leave a comment below subscribe and see you next time bye bye